All right, Vapi had a huge update and it's not all good. So inside of the tool section, they broke the ability or they removed the ability to add structured data inside of the tools or configure it in the graphical interface. So that's a big problem because that was very useful. If you were integrating third-party apps like NA to N, Go High Level or Make.com, you can no longer add the structured data in here, which is very important to send over to third-party applications. Now, there are a few people complaining about it inside of the Discord. I don't don't know whether this was an intentional fix or if it was a bug and so what I want to show you what you can do in the meantime if you're like in the middle of a project or maybe you know you're trying to troubleshoot something you can actually still get around the fact that it's no longer on the graphical interface you can use the API in order to update your tools so you're just not stuck in the water so if I'm over here in the tool documentation I'm going to reference this create a tool section, but if you have an existing tool and you want to modify the tool, you can use this update tool documentation and it's going to be very similar. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create just a quick N8N workflow, but you can do this in terminal or however you like to interact with your API. I'm going to put the, the blueprint for this, the, for this N8N workflow inside of the school community. You can just hop in. It's free. You can go in there, download it and implement it for yourself. Let's go ahead and let's see we're over here and what I'm going to do is if I click here on code you'll notice that parameters this is the section that you used to be able to configure using the graphical interface is no longer available to us and so we're just going to reference this existing tool and we're going to create a new one here so I'm going to show you how to do that so inside of N8N I'm just going to go here add a node I'm going to add an HTTP node it's going to be an HTTP request a post request and then if I come back here I'll copy the endpoint which is this HTTPS API.vapi.ai forward slash tool and I will paste it in there. Authentication, I'm going to use generic credential type, header authentication, and then I have a credential here called temporary VAPI. But if you don't have a credential, you would just come in here and create one. Let me see if I can edit one so I could show you what it looks like. It looks like it wants to act up here. But if not, you can create a new credential. The name would be authorization. And then here in the value, you can click expression so you can see what you're doing. Capital B, bearer, space, and then you would just paste your API key. If you don't have an API key, you come over here inside of VAPI, create an API key and paste it in there. I already have that part done, so I'm not gonna recreate it, but I already have my credentials set in here, temporary VAPI. So we're gonna go over here, enable turn on, enable the send body, and then come here to the specified body using JSON. And let's pop this open just so that we're dealing with a bigger screen. We're gonna come over here to this existing tool. And again, I'm gonna, leave this entire blueprint inside the school community so you can download it so you don't have to type this word for word i'm just going to copy this and then i will paste it in here all right so this is pasted and what you're going to do here is lines two through four are actually unnecessary so you're going to remove them the first line in this json should be type function and then if you scroll down here, you also don't need your org ID because you're using your API key. It already knows what organization this is assigned to. And then this is my tool or my function, but what really matters here is line seven all the way down to line 30 right here is the parameter. So this is what you used to be able to configure using the graphical interface. So you can come in here, you can copy and paste these sections, or you can just use like ChatGPT. You can come in here, you can copy this and say, hey, I want my structured data to be name, phone number, and email. Here's the description for those. And can you please just replace the parameter section with insert what you want to put in there. So again, that looks good. So what I'm gonna do real quick is change this name so that we can tell the difference. We'll say test hotfix tool. And then we can go ahead and close this and I will click test step. Let's see, bad request, check parameters. So where did we mess up? So we this is a post request tool, header, send body. Maybe we messed up our JSON. If we come in here, we can validate our JSON by copying it and then going to the best JSON formatter, validate it, format. Looks good. Let me see why that isn't working. All right, so I figured out why that wasn't working. I had an error in my URL, which is the webhook that it sends the data to. You won't have that error. I just modified that so that I can abstract my webhook URL because this was for a functional tool. But yeah, once you have that in there and you validated that the JSON is accurate, like using something like JSON formatter, 
you can come back into VAPI, or I'm sorry, N8N, and then test the step. And then looks like that API call went through successfully. So if we come in here and refresh, and look at our test hotfix tool it got created and if we pop open the code it looks like our properties went ahead and transferred in there so our structured data is present so hopefully that's helpful i know it's a little bit of an advanced topic and a little bit of a pain but if you come in here and use the api you can still accomplish the mission by just referencing those parameters and that structured data inside of your api call again if you want to update an existing tool it's just a little bit different but if you come in here and reference the api documentation maybe you can use perplexity and open ai to help you structure a proper api call so you can update your tool hopefully this is helpful i hope they fix this and this video becomes irrelevant tomorrow but in case it's not i hope it helps you